All right, guys, so we're back today, and today we're going to be talking about something to do with the NBA. I've been making a bunch of sports videos lately. I need to do more outdoors, but I don't know what to do besides fish at this point in time. Hunting season is almost already here. That is crazy to me. I feel like it was just hunting season, but it is almost already here. But we need to make a video on the NFL. I haven't made a video on the NFL in forever, okay? And so that might be what our next video is. But anyway, so today, I needed to post this the day before yesterday. I thought about posting it yesterday, but we uploaded the college football video. Um, if you've watched that, you know what happens in it, so I'm not going to say. But if you haven't watched it, you need to go watch it to figure out what happens in it because it is kind of crazy. And so um, we, we simulated the Kentucky season. And um, what the college football had us doing was wild. And I did not think that that would happen. But we're going to be talking about the NBA today. We're going to be talking about a team. You know that we're going to be talking about this team. We're going to be talking about the Phoenix Suns. And the Suns made a trade for Bradley Bill last year. They traded Chris Paul to the Wizards. The Wizards traded um, Chris Paul to the Warriors for Jordan Poole. And we know how every, every one of them teams got worse with that trade. The... The um, the Warriors were just not good. It, it was not just that trade. It was just everything that happened. We lost some role players that we could have used, like Dante DiVincenzo and other people. Um, and then the Wizards lost their franchise cornerstone and got Jordan Poole, who was terrible for them. And then the... Um, the Suns just couldn't stay healthy. And when they had Bradley Beal, Devin Booker, and Kevin Durant on the floor with Yusuf, Yusuf Nurkic and Grayson Allen, um, Bradley Beal or Devin Booker was having to run the point. And neither of them are a facilitator with the ball to facilitate the ball to any of those other guys. And so you had have, you have five ball-dominant scorers on that team. And... Well, not all ball dom dominant, but five scorers starting. And you just you can't do that because there's nobody to pass the ball to them. And so that is why that they um, traded for Titus Jones. Or not traded, they signed Titus Jones. If I can get it right, we'll be all right. But they signed Titus Jones. He played for the Wizards last year. So it's a team that they basically traded um, – so they basically have got took it, good players from the Wizards. That's that's basically what has happened. Um, and so Titus Jones now is coming into this awesome situation. He uploaded an article. He's like, "This is the best situation that I could have went into," and I don't blame him for saying that because it is true. Like he is going into a team who has three good players in the NBA, and. Um, I mean, that team, we all thought that they were going to be really scary last year. They ended up not being as scary as we thought they were going to be because injuries and they didn't build the, the team right. Matt Ishbia is good at getting talent, just not getting the right talent, if you know what I'm saying. He's not good. He's good at getting talent, but building a team he is terrible at. So he's good at getting stars. He's terrible at getting building a team to play around the stars. And so, but the only good thing he has did this offseason, and it is huge, is he has traded, or not traded. I keep saying traded, but he has signed Tyce Jones. And so, I think that is a big move because he can walk in there, and then your starting lineup next year is Tyce Jones. Devin Booker, Bradley Beal, Kevin Durant, and then Yusuf Nurkic. That is a really good starting lineup. You have him who averaged eight, seven, eight assists last year on the Washington Wizards, jumping in here to a team. And the Washington Wizards were terrible last year. They didn't have no scores, unless you want to call Kyle Kuzma a scorer. But he's going to walk in here to a Suns team who we can facilitate the ball, I think he'll have average 12 assists a game. 
He might not have score as many points as he did last year. He scored 12. He might be like a six-point-per-game uh, scorer. But that is not bad because they don't need him to score. All they need him to do is get the ball, dribble it down the floor, find the open man, score. That is a scary Suns team. We know that Kevin Durant did really good on defense last year. Yusuf Nurkic is not a bad defender. Kevin Durant or Devin Booker and Bradley Beal can defend. They're decent defenders. And then you have Tyus Jones. So you have a okay bench on that team. Um, could use a little bit more depth, but they're not bad. You got Grayson Allen coming off the bench. Um, Bobo, if I mean, if you want to even count that, he can come in as center. Bobo is tall, guys. If Bobo could make himself dominant, he would be really, really good. If he was as strong as dominant as Victor Wembanyama, man. Um, I don't really know Bobo's biggest weakness um, because I haven't really ever watched Bobo play, but I just know that Bobo ha had potential. still has potential, but he, sti he can't be in the top. Like, he isn't going to be a star anymore. He can be a borderline all-star. If he really wanted to. So, the Suns are looking scary. Everybody in the West is loading up. We knew the West was loaded last year, but everybody has just got way better. You had the Oklahoma City Thunder to start the offseason. <clears throat> Go after Alex Caruso. They traded Josh Giddy for Alex Caruso. So, now they have a defender, a defending guard next to Shea to start. So that, that starting lineup is Shea or Alex Caruso at point. So we'll say Shea, Alex Caruso, Jalen Williams, um, um, Chad Holmgren, and then Isaiah Hardenstein. That is a pretty good starting lineup. Or you could throw who else started last year. It was Shea, um, Josh Giddy. Jalen Williams. Oh, Luke Dort. So Luke Dort can come off the bench now because they have Isaiah Hardenstein to play. Or he can play back up center. But I'm pretty sure that they'll probably run Chet at the four. Run Isaiah Hardenstein at the five. And then you also have the Spurs who got better. Got Chris Paul to pass the ball to Wimby. Um, they got um, Harrison Barnes drafted Stephon Castle. And so that is a better team. Um, the Lakers have did nothing. Warriors have got Buddy Heald, Kyle Anderson, another player. And then there's a shot that they trade for Laurie Markkinen. Um, who else has gotten better? The Wolves traded for um, Rob Dillingham on draft night. Oh, the Mavericks signed Clay Thompson. Um, and then they also got Spencer Dinwiddie in free agency. So they're, they're looking better, even better than last year. Um. Yeah, there's just so many teams who have gotten way better, guys. Um, like the Philadelphia 76ers were a good team last year. This is the, we'll go to the East now, but they have now they have Paul George. Um, Celtics uh, re-signed Jason or gave Jason Tatum a contract extension, making him the highest paid NBA player, uh, or the highest contract in history. So they have this two highest contracts in the NBA history on their roster. Something's got to give eventually for the Celtics, unless they want to be under the second apron. I have really not ever explained that to you all. Um, that's because I don't fully understand it, but if you're under the second apron, you can't make trades. Um, your, your pick falls at the end of the draft. It is very bad. So you don't want to be under the second apron um, in the new um, salary cap stuff. But it is not bad. First apron is not good, but it's not as bad as second. Second basically kills your team, and you're going to be bad for seven years. So, yeah. But um, who else has gotten – oh, yes. The New York Knicks have got um, better. They uh, traded for Mikel Bridges. They did lose Isaiah Hardenstein. So, Mitchell Robinson, I guess, is going to have to run center. But they're still not a bad team. Uh, so they got Mikael Bridges. Um, oh, yeah, the uh, Magic 
got uh, Contavious Caldwell Pope from the Nuggets. Oh, the Nuggets also got Russ. So they lose Contavious Caldwell Pope. They lose three good free agents in one year, or in two years. And the only player that they sign is Con Contavious Caldwell. Or no, oh my gosh, guys, Russell Westbrook. I think that they also got Dario Sarge from the Warriors. He played for the Warriors last year. wasn't the best, but I think they also signed him. And so, yeah. So teams are just getting good. They're they're getting better role players, all stars, borderline all stars to play with their stars if they have stars. You can right now with the new apron that the NBA has done is been perfect. It is killing the war. Well, yeah, it's kind of killing teams like the Warriors and the Lakers because they have players on huge contracts. I don't know how the Celtics aren't getting killed right now, but they will eventually because soon they're going to have to sign Derek White to a new contract, Christoph Porzingis. I think they signed Christoph Porzingis, but then you have to sign Drew Holiday. So there's, something's going to have to give eventually. But um, teams are getting more even. Nobody is going to be great anymore like the Celtics were this year. That's probably going to be – this year and next year is probably going to be the two last years that teams are superly dominant. And then it's just going to flatten out, and it's going to be a battle through the whole league. We will not know. There, the last couple years, it's been flip-flop. Nobody's went back-to-back -back in the championship. And we have not known who was going to win it. This past year, we knew who was going to win it because the Celtics have just made smart decisions. But I think that that's how the NBA is going to end up turning out for the next few years. Let's just hope that we can get defense better in the NBA. And um, I've really talked about everything in this video. I came out here trying going to make a video about the Suns, and I just talked about everything in the NBA. But I think that everybody in the NBA is not going to be bad anymore. There is not going to be no Detroit Pistons, no Washington Wizards, people like that. It is Everybody's going to have like 30 uh, or 40, 40 records. That's how it's going to be, 41, 41 records because there's 82 games in a regular season. But there we go. I hope you guys um, agree with me on this video. There wasn't really much of opinion I put, opinion I put out there. But I um, hope you liked what I talked about.